The hybrid stepper motor is the most commonly used motor among the various types of stepper motors. They are mainly used to obtain small step angle and higher amount of torque. This motor has similar stator construction like variable reluctance stepper motors. The stator has concentric winding and the stator pole has a corrugated structure of tooth and slot as seen in the diagram. The permanent magnet and soft iron material are used to develop the rotor of this machine. The rotor of this machine is made of an axially polarized magnet inside and tooth steel caps are covered at the outer side of the magnet. The tooth steel cap connected to the north pole of the permanent magnet forms north pole and the tooth steel cap connected to the south pole of the permanent magnet forms south pole. The tooth of the rotor south pole and north pole are unaligned. The soft iron material and a permanent magnet combinedly produce variable reluctance torque and permanent magnet torque. Due to this, torque production is higher than the other configuration of stepper motor. Let's take an example, where the rotor has 50 teeth and 8 stator pole has 48 teeth. 8 stator poles are energized with two phases called phase A and phase B. Each phase will excite four windings of coil that are connected in series. Winding coils are wound so that an alternate stator pole corresponds to the same phase will generate opposite polarity of the pole. Of course, the polarity can be reversed by reversing the excitation. Notice that the rotor end that we can visualize from this end is south pole, while the north pole is on the back side and cannot visualize from this end. To understand the rotational principle, we have divided stator and rotor teeth into the four color group. The small step angle of 1.8 degree is obtained by arranging stator and rotor teeth cleverly. For the position shown here, all the blue teeth of stator and rotor are fully aligned to each other. Due to lesser number of teeth in the stator, yellow and green pole teeth are half aligned, and red groups are completely unaligned to the rotor teeth. The rotor has total 50 teeth in 360 degree space, so rotor pole width will be 360 divided by 50 will turns out to be 7.2 degree. It means that half aligned teeth are actually shifted by an angle of 1.8 degree. And unaligned teeth are shifted 3.6 degrees with respect to fully aligned teeth. Now, let us discuss very interesting part, how rotational torque is produced. First, let's discuss equilibrium position shown here. Phase A is excited and stator pole is generated as shown here. The blue group teeth are under the influence of stator end pole, and in this condition rotor S pole attract and lock to this position. Interestingly, this is also a minimum reluctance position. Let's focus on red group stator teeth in which S pole is generated. Due to repulsive force of rotor S pole they must be unaligned, and yes it is. And it is also obtained the position where maximum reluctance is possible. All four stator poles of phase A hold the rotor position shown here. In the next turn, excitation of phase A is removed and phase B is energized, and stator pole is generated as shown here. End pole is generated under the yellow group of stator phases and attractive force of end pole of stator and S pole of rotor tries to align each other. At the same time, green group of stator phases with S pole tries to unalign due to repulsive force of rotor S pole. Not only this permanent magnet torque, reluctant torque is also acting on the rotor to attain minimum reluctance position for yellow teeth and maximum reluctance for green groups of stator teeth. So here two types of forces will act and makes the rotor rotates in anti-clockwise direction by an angle of 1.8 degrees. This rotation ensures that the yellow teeth are fully aligned and green groups are unaligned. The backside of opposite polarity of rotor pole will do the exact opposite action for respective stator phases, and as they are unaligned with front side rotor, they will also produce the anti-clockwise torque. Now in the next turn phase A is excited with opposite polarity and rotor rotates further 1.8 degrees. Then phase B is excited with opposite polarity and rotor completes another 1.8 degrees. Then again phase A is excited with positive polarity and the excitation process will be repeated. This is the truth table for hybrid stepper motor. Every excitation will force the rotor to move 1 by 4th of tooth pitch. As discussed earlier, 
Due to permanent magnet and variable reluctance both are used in the rotor construction this motor is called a hybrid stepper motor. This motor is ideal for many applications where a precise step angle with simple control is desired. Another advantage of this motor is that there is detent torque. It means that in the absence of excitation supply, locking mechanism still exists due to permanent magnet. We have also uploaded the PDF notes and animated PPT for students and teachers. You are free to edit and use. Please appreciate our work by hitting the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.